Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So, welcome back. It's Inktober Day 3 to 6 and this is the second video. Originally, my plan was that I wanted to upload the video every 5 days but I was turning out the videos were turning out to be too long. I didn't want to speed it up too much unlike my usual speed paints. So, um, I'm splitting it up into every 3 days instead so that means more frequent videos on top of my usual Saturday schedule. And if it falls on a day that's near Saturday, so for example, if it falls on a Friday, it will replace my Saturday video. So that would be the plan that I will be implementing for Inktober. Okay, for day 3, the theme was uh, underwater, which was really cool. I really wanted to do an underwater piece, and I immediately knew what picture I wanted to draw. It was just the the implementation and actually drawing it out would be the challenge. So um, lately I've been drawing a lot of hair <laughs> and I mean a lot of like really flowy hair which is I've liked doing hair before but not to this extent which is surprising and kind of fun. It, but I really should like move away from it a little bit since I want to draw some other things as well. So maybe in the next couple of days, I will focus on other things. We'll see. So I wanted to well, depict being underwater and like being really, really deep underwater, like in the depths, levels of underwater, where it's already dark and there's not much light. And I want this girl to be like floating in the midst of that. So it almost looks rather ethereal. And I really do like how it turned out. I'm using the Kurataki Cambio brush pen and um, I'm not really used to it yet since I bought this fairly recently. I've used it for all of October almost but I haven't really used it outside of that. So I was trying to get used to um, the pen pressure, line weights, and I saw other people using brush pens and for October as well and they were talking about techniques and what you should try to do or tips and tricks when using brush pens. So I implemented or tried to implement those techniques for this particular piece. And that's why there's also a lot of hair. It's a bit hard since I'm used to like having somewhat even pressure, but and it kind of hurts. It's like I have to put a lot of control to just to just make the lines really thin. So that is a bit of a challenge, but I think I'll get used to it eventually. So moving on to day four, five, 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 not not four, five. The theme is long, and I'm sorry if ever the video turns out a bit weird for this one. I switched the quality of my camera to be a, a step higher in terms of quality. So from HD, I think I moved it to FHD, I think. So I'm not sure how that will turn out. Originally, I did shoot in something like QHD or even higher, but. Um, the video size, the bleh, the video size was pretty big, so I moved down to HD, but I wasn't really contented with the video quality, and I moved it back up to FHD, and that's on some Samsung camera phone. I'm not sure how that translates to other um, cameras and or phones. So if it's a bit weird, please forgive me. I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm not sure how it look like when it renders. <laughs> but we'll see. So for long, it was a bit of a tough one actually. I couldn't really think of a decent picture 
when you think of like long. I wanted to do this like stupid uh, troll picture, but I didn't want to do that for my channel. But <laughs> and then I thought like I've been drawing hair a lot. Let's just stick with that. And I remember me and my best friend gave a lot of original characters, and a lot of them have long hair. So I decided to draw one of them. And yes, this is meal. Hahaha. <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to draw him brushing his hair in front of a mirror. And I don't know, like, I had a hard time dealing with this day. Like, the anatomy is a bit wonky, especially around the hands. The wrists are a bit too short. And the the fore, the arm itself is a bit really long. It's, it's weird. Uh. I just kind of forced myself to finish a piece that day. And it's a bit sad because I really like this character. And it's only like day 5 and I'm already losing steam. So I need to... Maybe it was just a bad day. Let's just say it was a bad day. Actually, it also didn't help that I didn't have much sleep that day. Um, work has been pretty busy lately. And I did this... Well, I was waiting for my work to render, and I was so tired, like, I, I, yeah, I think it's, it was just like a really compounded bad stuff on that day. <laughs> so I'm not using my brush pen this time. When I was a lot younger, I used to use like normal gel pens to draw, and I'm using one of my favorites, that's the, the, uh, like um gel pen <laughs> i don't even know what it's called but i almost always bought this pen i want i've only once or twice switched away from this pen since it's a bit it's a bit thick um and the the ink is really uh liquidy it's very it's, yeah it's very thick so i only used two types of pens in my college days and i consistently bought these pens since they're very nice actually and actually, when I was younger, I used this to... Oh, I remember why I switched out. Uh, when I started doing watercolors, they're not waterproof, so... I... had to find the pen that was waterproof and that would be like the fine liners. But for my everyday life, I would use these pens instead. So, how's your Inktober's been? Um, as you can see, mine's a little bit of a... It's both fun and so it's a bit of a struggle since I do come from work every day. And I, I'm still trying to find the right balance between finishing a piece on every day and then having to video edit on another day. And yeah, it's a bit tough. But I'll, I'll stick it out. So for day 6 is the sword. And... If you know, if you watch my channel for a little bit, you know how much I like weapons and swords and fantasy stuff. But it was a bit weird when I really couldn't find, or I couldn't, or maybe because I was expecting a bit much from myself, or I was so excited I wanted to do something awesome that I was for a long time kind of stuck on what I wanted to do. Yeah. I guess I was just like. Oh, I just, there's so much to do, but I also don't know what to do. <laughs> I got into that kind of situation. But it's okay, because it turned out pretty nice. And even though I did cheat here, I used a bit of watercolor to do the colors, but uh, meh. <laughs> I just wanted to sleep, to be honest, but eh. <laughs> so for my posing figure, that's the SH Figure Arts Body Kun. And yeah, I just put them in a. I already had the position in mind when I started drawing, but I wanted to see how perspective works, so I post them out for a basic idea.
was wondering what's been happening lately to my work so that I've been I haven't been sticking to my sketch as faithfully as I did before. Oh well. Notification, I forgot to use my phone. Oh well. Um what was I saying? Right. Uh in the past I would sketch something out and then faithfully follow it almost to the T. Lately I've been not following it as much like for example with that sleeve it was supposed to be like an open sleeve but i went with a closed sleeve this time and then with last the the day before this for the theme of long i added the details to his shirt post like when i was already doing the line art so i guess that's a bit of artistic maturity there that i am not as reliant on my sketch Maybe someday I'll just like put down the basic figure and I won't even um, do the sketch as intensely as before anymore. I might get to that point, I'm not really sure either, but it's interesting to, to note. So I busted out my Sephora Kaya watercolors and only because I, I just wanted, I missed my watercolors also, but it's the fastest the color stuff for me with. I was gonna use a dermot ink tense, but I don't know. This was this was a lot easier and more accessible to me. <sighs> I didn't really feel like following the rules that day. So one thing I'm also doing lately is that. I'm not really fully coloring the pieces all the time. Actually, in fact, I don't really have a really colored. Well, I have one, and that was poison. But I'm experimenting a bit with doing just like highlights of color. So, like on the central thing that I want to focus on, and not necessarily have to be bound to finish coloring a piece once I start coloring certain parts of it. And it turns out pretty nice. It looks so. It still looks finished. And it's, but it's not as like wow factor inducing as a fully colored piece, but it's fun. It's fun enough, I guess. So I'm just adding a little bit more line weight in, and I guess I'll just be adding like a little bit more color to the eyes and like some shadows later, and I don't keep it in much the video. There, we're adding a little bit of gray. Like very very yellowish gray of sorts to add like shadows to the pieces. I thought I thought like it looked a bit um, unfinished without the shadows or without a little bit of color or yeah on the person itself. So I just went in with some gray and a little bit of like paint gray as well. You're nearing the end of the video. Please like and or subscribe if you enjoyed this. I do a lot of fan art as well and some a lot of other art stuff every Saturday. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.